Kling has announced an exciting update to their system they call Elements, where you can bring four images or four elements together into a single video, so all combines neatly together. In this video, I'm going to show you how I used it and how you can use it too. Here we are inside of Kling and if you go to the left hand side under AI videos simply tap it and you will see a new elements tab has been added up here. Normally in Kling it was just frames and that's the normal way to upload start and end frames but if we click on elements you can now see there is four boxes here and we can upload four different images into these boxes. The first thing I wanted to try was a, a Pixar style cartoon. I wanted this dog, I wanted him on a beach and then I got this image. All these images were made in mid journey and I wanted this dog to be on a beach wearing this Hawaiian shirt and I, I wanted to see how Kling would do it without cutting out the background of the dog and the shirt. At the end of this video I'm going to show you a few generations that didn't quite <laughs> go to plan but for this one, this one really turned out well and with Kling what you have to do with this element feature is add a prompt and I simply typed in a cartoon Pixar style golden retriever dog wearing a Hawaiian shirt relaxing on a sunny beach and for this prompt it really is important that you add in about the dog, the background and the object or element which in this case is a Hawaiian shirt. If you look at this it came out really really well and I'm really pleased with this result. Again at the end of the video we'll show you a few results that didn't go to plan because with all AI video generation you need several attempts normally several attempts to get what you want. This here is a knight and I wanted him to have this flaming sword. Again made in mid journey. This time I decided to put the knight on a white background and then a flaming sword and I actually had a background which I forgot to insert in this generation but just look how well Kling has performed with this here. In the prompt, I typed in a medieval knight in shining armor holds a flaming sword in a dark castle. I put the two elements together and also said about the dark castle and just the camera angle and everything about this is super, super cool. If you've seen any of this in action online, you'll see a model or someone walking wearing a new t shirt. And I've seen a few examples online and I wanted to test it out. So again, all mid journey images we have got a photo of this lady and then this really bright coloured shirt and then this background scene and I just typed in the scene begins with a view of a woman walking confidently towards the camera in a colourful t-shirt and Kling has absolutely knocked this out of the park. Look at the lighting in the background here consistent with the background and then on the model herself and I want to see if I could push this idea a little bit further. So I decided to put this lady in a Manchester United top in front of Manchester United Stadium and uh, she looks quite happy if you know anything about Manchester United at the minute uh, they're not doing too good and she probably shouldn't be looking that happy as a fan but you can see how well this turned out now it hasn't done a perfect job with the actual logo here and the Snapdragon kind of gets lost a wee bit at the end but the consistency of the walk-in with just it, it just looks as if she's in the background now at the end there is some kind of weird statue that comes in to the picture on the left hand side and that's being pulled from a statue that is actually at Manchester United Stadium as you can see in the reference image but this looks so so good and it's just a look into the future of what we can expect in Kling and other AI tools where we can combine objects get people wearing different t-shirts get people in different places really really good job here and then finally we'll have Spider-Man again all mid-journey images we've got a reference image of Spider-Man, a reference image of a camel and then the pyramids in Egypt and this turned out super well. It's not perfect at a glance. It's a really really fantastic shot and the prompt was Spider-Man riding a camel past the Egyptian pyramids. Again this took a few prompts to do. Now I originally said that this had a background which I forgot to add so we're just going to add that in now just to show you how to use this new elements in Kling. Everything's blank here. Everything should be blank. So I will simply upload our three images 
images. It does take up to four images, but I find that three images is the sweet spot, or even two images work really well. So this ad are three images. I've now added the three images, and again, I've just typed in, a medieval knight in shining armor holds up a flaming sword inside a dark castle. If I scroll down to the sentence, you can use standard mode or professional mode. Professional mode is always best. On this occasion, I'm just clicking five seconds because it's 25 credits for five seconds and then it's double that 70 credits for the 10 seconds when do in different aspect ratios which is great we'll get different generations of videos so at the minute i just want one if there was something i was working on maybe i want two or three or four and then negative prompts i have just typed in a number here of negative prompts that i don't want all the normal stuff that you don't want in your ai videos blur distortion disfigurement low quality and so on if i click the generate button it's currently saying the estimate time is about 10 minutes. The brilliant thing you can do is you can open up a new tab in Kling and then add another generation, which I have done. And that's a really good tip. So you're not just waiting on 10 minutes or one generation. If you have a few scenes, you can work in different scenes in different tabs in Kling. And here is the video. As you can see, it looks so, so well. He is ho he does hold a sword at the end, which is a brave move, but maybe he's just showing how powerful and mighty he is he's not scared to get burnt at all just look at the reflections coming from the sword on his helmet on his clothes it's really really impressive as i said earlier with all ai videos you normally don't hit it out of the park straight away and certainly with this new elements feature that is true the prompt is so important here i typed in a golden retriever wearing a colorful hawaiian shirt jumps in the air on a sunny beach with waves crashing in the background and you can see it's, it's kind of made it look a little bit realistic uh he's kind of look, looks like a bit of a duck nearly flapping and it, it doesn't look great i'll show you another generation and this is getting much closer we've changed it so we've typed in a, a cartoon pixar style golden retriever on all fours so at the minute he's still he's still up in two two legs i was wanting to get him on all fours that clearly didn't happen we're in a colorful hawaiian shirt jumps in the air on a sunny beach with the waves crashing but we are getting closer this is a really stunning image but as you can see from the prompt i typed in a cartoon picture style golden retriever on a sunny beach with waves crashing in the background i didn't mention anything about the hawaiian shirt and c and i didn't mention it it just totally disregarded the hawaiian shirt upload and it's a great image but we'll want this guy wearing a hawaiian shirt so in the prompt section if you don't add in the elements or state something about the background or the people or the animal in this case cling will leave that out and we're nearly there really like this generation a cartoon picture style golden retriever wearing a hawaiian shirt on a sunny beach with waves crashing in and it's uh, so close to what we want uh, and that's why the final one i changed it to just relaxing because there was just something about the movement i wasn't too sure about let me know in the comments what do you think about cling elements there's going to be more videos coming on cling and other ai tools soon my name's andrew thanks for watching